Greetings, Master Manifestors of the Light. In today's video, theme is going to be what we want to manifest on the new earth. The image today, as you can see, it reads, The final victory of the light has occurred and planet earth has been liberated and the galactic codex is now fully in effect throughout the planet. Now this was posted today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Maria Nessa, that's N-E-S-A, from thegoldenagegoddess.com. Now I posted this on our Prime Disclosure Facebook page today and listed it as a powerful tool for manifestation. This is a tool and one of the tools, many of the tools that we provide through our team and our group are to assist us. They're not necessary or but they assist their tools of assistance for light workers, star seeds, warriors of the light, all of us in the ground crew of the Earth Alliance to use as tools to assist us to manifest new Earth, to liberate all life, all humanity from the false 3D matrix. So someone had made a comment that, you know, we're not there, that, you know, how could I, something along the lines of how could I believe that the Earth's been liberated or that this is true. This has nothing to do with what we are currently experiencing externally in the simulation that we're within that is controlled by the negative, by the false. This is all about what we need to do to manifest New Earth, to manifest the Golden Age. And part of that process is what are you putting your awareness on, into, what you're feeling, what you're seeing. So this image that's on the video, and the link will be below this video if you want to download this image to meditate on, to focus on, because it is up to us. Most of the star seeds and warriors of the light know this already, but those that need clarification and resolution, that it is up to us. We came here on this mission to manifest new earth. And how do we do that? We do that through our heart center. We do that through our awareness, our visualizations, what we focus our attention on, our intent, our intent for new earth. So visualizing, seeing victor, the light has already occurred, will accelerate this process, this ascension process, and seeing that the galactic codex of universal truth is fully in effect throughout the whole planet, throughout this whole realm, throughout the whole matrix, touching all lives, all consciousness, all awareness, and that planet Earth has been liberated as part of us manifesting the liberation, manifesting the universal code, the universal truth, with our pure intent for all life, all realms, clearing the separation programming, clearing the duality simulation, and freeing all life from the simulations of suffering, of separation, of conflict. So this image today, we can focus on, meditate on, and use as a tool for manifestation, for manifesting new earth. There's codes within the image. You see these fireworks. This is a symbol of celebration, celebrating that which we are manifesting, the rainbow around the earth, the rainbow waves, the rainbow tribe, the rainbow energy, the Merkaba, the Star of David, three-dimensional, the pyramid up, down, heaven on earth, earth on heaven, internal with the external, external with the internal. And at the end of this video, I'll clarify a couple other things that may be in doubt for people because we're going to cover a couple things through the Earth Alliance that have been reported on yesterday about the Golden Age and this madness that we're seeing playing out through the field, through the collective. Because part of this process, there's an individual experience and there's a collective experience. So it's up to each of us individual to be part of this process to assist the collective, those that are waking up, those that are awakening to the truth, waking up from the amnesia, remembering our true selves, that which is beyond the separation programming. That is one with Source, one with God, one with Buddha, the Tao, Creator, whatever name you want to give to Source Energy, our true self, our true nature, as we reconnect through our heart center, through the center, the still white magnetic light at the center of your presence, your being, your awareness, your consciousness, the unborn mind of Buddha, of infinite light and infinite life, 
we'll get right into it here. We have a lot to cover today. The first transmission is titled The End Time Madness, Final Programming Through the Earth Alliance and Cobra, Victory of the Light. As we are now right before the dawn of the new golden age, a strong purification must occur before we as a planet can enter the light fully. This purification is called the end time madness. The end time madness is happening individually with many people freaking out and showing dysfunctional behavior, but also globally. It has begun. It has begun and is becoming. A side note, the storm has arrived and we are the storm rising up in energy and frequency in love and in manifestation. Since they know now that their end is inevitable, the Cabal wants to destroy the surface human population in the process of their own downfall. They attempted that in December last year by triggering the financial collapse through the repo market, and that did not work. They tried that in early January through escalation with Iran. That did not work. They tried to engineer a false flag in Virginia. That did not work. So what is left? A global pandemic scare. 2019-NCOV is an advanced ethnic bioweapon that targets mostly Asian population. The current epidemic is a result of covert biological warfare that goes on between China and USA. Chinese long-term military strategy against USA is based on bioweapons to a great degree. The Chinese agents had stolen the coronavirus from Canadian lab and upgraded into a bioweapon at the lab in Wuhan. Then a U.S. agent previously infiltrated into the Wuhan lab and involved in the development of the virus stole a sample of coronavirus and spread it into the Wuhan seafood and animal market. From then on, the virus was spreading with the geometric progression that may look really scary. It is interesting to note here that Peter Salama, a renowned epidemiologist that worked for WHO and a board member of GAVI, the Vaccine Alliance, died on January 23rd. The Pleiadians are working tirelessly to stop the epidemic. On Friday, January 24th, they have developed the first stardust nanopowder to erase the virus and have spread it towards the surface of the planet from their ships stationed in low Earth orbit. The virus has reacted to the nando dust and mutated into a slightly less lethal and slightly more transmissible form. Learning from the reaction of the virus, the Pleiadians have developed a more advanced version of Stardust and applied it on Monday and Tuesday, January 27th and 28th. As a result of this, the virus is not spreading anymore with the geometric progression as it was until now and appears to be slowing down. So we can also use the mantra to assist humanity of Command PB Stardust, Command PB Stardust, Command PB Stardust. This is a mantra, a code of healing, working with the Pleiadian medical team through the etheric realm into the tonal, the known, the 3D realm. The life forces are expecting that the spread of infection will even out in a week or two with less and less new cases reported after that. After enough attempts, the Pleiadians will be able to completely hack the virus and stop it from spreading, exactly in the same way they stopped the Spanish flu pandemic in 1918. The viruses can only spread effectively when they receive support from the dark forces on the plasma plane. Also, all remaining chimera plasma spiders are extremely starved and on the brink of extinction, and now are, they are rushing to Wuhan and other cities with high number of infections to feed off fear and suffering. This is a perfect trap for them as the light forces can clear them much more effectively when they are all gathered in a small space and are not evenly spread around the surface of the planet anymore. The light forces are now intensively clearing all the infections supporting plasma, and all the plasma chimera spiders with this rate of purification, all plasma chimera beings will be gone in a week or two, with only physical chimera and U.S. Space Command and DARPA remaining. The life forces are asking everyone that feels so guided to support this clearing process. 
by visualizing violet flame purifying all virus supporting plasma and all plasma chimera spiders. It is very important to stay calm and not give in to fear. To put things into perspective, over 80,000 people died from the common flu in 2018 in the United States alone, and nobody seemed to worry, and 650,000 people worldwide. For an average human being, the risk of getting this coronavirus is very low and will most likely remain low. The best advice for anybody would be to treat this epidemic the same way as the common flu. This will take out the most of the fear. The light forces are asking everybody that feels so guided to support this clearing process with the following meditation. The instructions suggest the duration of this meditation is 15 minutes. And again, all the transmissions that I do in these videos are transcribed and archived on our website, primedisclosure.com. And under every video, the top link that goes to Prime Disclosure is all that I transmit in the everyday video. And we have somewhere around 900 transmissions archived on our Prime Disclosure website. So you can always click the link in the description below to with do a further investigation and learning on each article I post. I put a lot more in each article that I post than what I transmit through these videos. So the, the suggested duration of this meditation is 15 minutes. And you can use this image on the video, which is also on the link below, to assist you in this uh, visualization and meditation. So use your own technique to bring you to a relaxed state of consciousness. Next, state your intent to use this meditation as a tool to stop the pandemic from spreading and to remove the virus from the surface of the planet. 3. Visualize a pillar of brilliant white light emanating from the cosmic central sun, then being distributed to central suns of all galaxies in this universe. Then visualize this light entering through the galactic central sun, then going through our galaxy, then entering our solar system, and going through all beings of light inside our solar system, and then through all beings on planet Earth, and also through your body to the center of the Earth. 4. Visualize the white fire of An, A-N, purifying all people and locations involved in the pandemic outbreak, especially Wuhan, Shenzhen, and Hubei province. 5. Visualize the virus being stopped from spreading out and being removed from the surface of the planet. 6. Visualize everyone infected by this virus being healed completely. Victory of the Light from the Earth Alliance. The Blue Dawn is coming. And the Blue Dawn is connected to the goddess energy of Venus, the planet of blue healing waters, the divine waters of the healing energy of Eden. From Elizabeth Peru today, how to feel better right now. There is an answer at hand for anyone who may be feeling weighed down by the current seeming global breakdown. Firstly, it's to be expected in 2020 and beyond that each week you'll be hearing reports of big world events or shifts that have an effect of actually opening our hearts. Ever since last June, when the 5D energy template embedded around our globe, the cleansing of low-frequency negativity on Earth has accelerated. Now you can get caught up in it all and have the subsequent effect be that you feel weighed down and worried. Or you can rise above it and see it for what it is. It's your responsibility in 2020 to raise your vibration each day. This means to engage with information that uplifts and inspires you, as what you bathe yourself in mentally is programming you on the subconscious level. And it's that level from which you act and view life through. Please share this message from ElizabethPeru.com. And this is more confirmation that... This shift, this great awakening is up to us. We are on the precipice of the tipping point into the light, into the golden age. But it is us, up to us to affect this shift, to create the great awakening through our individual practice, our individual arts, our spiritual arts. As we connect through the collective, once we reach the full 
144,000 fully activated, living 100% from our heart center. The event will transpire what people are calling the event, whatever that looks like for you. Many of us have had visions. Many of us have already traveled and visited the 5D realm, the 5D energy. So whatever this looks like for you, what we are calling the event or the great shift, the great awakening, goes by many names. That is, when we reach critical mass of the ground crew, which is us, the star seeds, the warriors of light, the light workers, it is all of us. We are being activated. We are being supported from our star families, the star nations, the ascended masters, our guides, our teachers, our higher selves, our original self, our original awareness, connecting to this manifestation here now that's living out this timeline, that's living through the merging of all timelines, all dimensions, all realms here now through our heart center. Today from the Zolkin Times, Kin 202, White Resonant Wind. We have 202 in 2020s, so the 22, 22 energies, the 44 coming through fully. Resonant is the name for the number 7, and its key words are attune, inspire, and channel. 7 is a very sacred number. There are 7 colors in the rainbow and 7 chakras in the human body, and the number 7 is considered lucky by many. It is also the very middle day of any wave spell. Take the number 20 and minus 13, numbers which are the foundation of the Zolkin, and the result is 7. It is also associated with channeling and crown chakra. When we tune into this energy, we can receive insights that guide us. And I am recording this transmission at 717-717, current Eastern Time. Today is white wind, which represents communication, spirit, and breath. Well, it's not hard to figure out today's meaning. It's all about communication, channeling it, sharing it, and opening up all channels of communication. Speak your mind, but allow your gut instincts to direct the dialogue instead of your ego. The guide is the white wizard, the enchanter of the Zolkin. When wizard guides, he takes us to enchanted places, and we can feel like we are under a spell. You'll enjoy the fun, but you may not remember anything later. From Christina Papagiorgio, White Resonant Wind, Kin 202, 30 January 2020, 31 2020, 3 1 22 equal 8, 30 Retreat, Reflection, 3 Holy Trinity, Joy, Creativity, 8 Infinity, Abundance, Flow, Kin 202 equal 4, Form, Structure, Foundation, Earth, Angelic. A very heavenly, enchanting day for channeling spirit. Day 7 in the Yellow Warrior Wave Spell of fearlessly questioning everything in their path with a profound intelligence, disabling the old paradigm and fully focused on forging a new path to a brave new world. Today we are channeling messages from spirit which inspire us on our quest to new earth. Tone of creation, resonant tone 7 in the emotional realm, action inspires, power channels, essence attunement. The resonant tone very powerfully ignites the manifestation potentials to propel our quest today as it provides the ability to fine-tune and channel these magical forces. Remember that it is our vibration that will energize our creation and that this is broadcast through our emotional body rather than our mental body. So it is very important that we are stable, calm, and receptive to our feelings and what frequencies we are actually emitting as a transmitter to the etheric realm. At Tone 7, our vibrating phenomenon learns to be still and to listen. Mystical 7 understands that everywhere is magical, but right here is better. Once we attune and then channel the magic through this present moment, that is available to us all. So planetary kin, tune in and listen to the voice of spirit today, allowing the white wind to become the wind beneath your wings. So spread your wings, angelic earth being of light, and soar high into the light.
Today's question is how can I attune to the messages of spirit to fearlessly inspire my greatest quest? Divine blessings for becoming a divine transmitter today. May you receive the answers you seek. From Dream Spell Journey by Volum Votan and Bologna Kin 202, the resonant channel of spirit. Resonant Wind 7777. Today's Kin 202, Resonant Wind 7 Wind, marks the center of the warrior wave spell. 6 plus 1 plus 6 equal 13. Therefore, the power of seven rules all the galactic tones of today's oracle, 7777. Synchronically, we are also traversing day 21, 7 plus 7 plus 7, of the moon 7, of the magnetic wizard year, therefore decoded, or coded, 7777. Today's kin 202 is coded 11.2 or 2.11, Zolkin column 2. 11, seal 2, therefore it contains the double power of 11 of the galactic Maya twin archetypes 2, 11, Volum Votan 11, 11, seal 11, tone 11, and Balon Ek 11 plus 11 equal kin 22, in perfect harmony with the power of 7, in the warrior wave spell journey, today's kin 202, inscribe the last 76th solar return, 76th anniversary of Loidine Balon Ik, archetypal mother of dream spell, 13 moons. The solar return occurred on the last commemoration of her anniversary, 15 May 2019, which also marked the entrance into the 77th solar rotation. Also, the number of kin 202 reduces to 22 as kin 22, equaling Balon Ik the divine breath of the Telectonon's warrior. Precisely this Kin 202 of the resonant channel of spirit, which will be shared in the free upcoming ebook of the Planet Art Network in memorial of Loidine Balone Ik, The Art of Time, Living Natural Time as Art, from planetart.network. In the real time, today is 13 Kib, which ends the prophetic Tricena of Khan, Corn wave spell 144, precisely 13 kibs equivalent to 13 warrior, kin 156 in the dream spell, and we are trans transversing the warrior wave spell. Aho! Happy 7777, the spirit wind speaks. 30 January 2020, NS1.32.7.21, kin 202, white resonant wind the mantra the code for today is i channel in order to communicate inspiring breath i seal the input of spirit with the resonant tone of attunement i am guided by the power of timelessness and you can really feel into these daily mantras which are also in our transcriptions through the link below this video in the description so let us know, beloved beings of light, what you're feeling, what you're experiencing in the comments below this video, what you're seeing, your visions, your visions for new earth, your activations, your downloads. Please share this with the Lightworker community in the comments. This assists us and our teams through this great ascension process. I'd like to thank everyone for supporting us, for sharing these transmissions, for your beautiful comments. I appreciate you all. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Click the subscribe button below and the little bell next to subscribe for notifications on future uploads. I'd like to address one more thing and clarify this as best as I can. A comment I read earlier today at my last transmission. Many people are going into fear mode with this pandemic of the corona virus so someone asked if if they should be worried or in fear and of course as you all know and i'm sure person that put the comment out there some people put out comments for me to clarify i'm sure most of you know that this is nothing to fear a great mind a great man once said that there is nothing to fear but fear itself and i'd like to take that statement to the next level and refine that 
and make clear more in depth of that statement because because it is a powerful statement and it worked for many people. But we want to take that to the next level and say there is nothing to fear, not even fear itself. And that came through my guides this morning as I read that comment and went into the stillness through meditation and introspection because fear itself is nothing to be feared. It is an experience. It is, an, it is a feeling. It is a sign. It is a guide. Clearer to let go, to release, to purify. Purify the nadis, the channels, through our awareness. We say in the Taoist arts of divine alchemy that the chi flows where the mind goes. And chi being energy, energy itself, that the energy, we put our energy into what we focus on, what we put our awareness into, what we visualize with the pictures in our minds. So that is why it's very important, beloved being that is listening now, 73 coming through as I speak this, 730, 730, 37, heaven on earth. That is very critical that now, through these powerful energies coming through, that what we put our awareness on and our intent, that is our will, our will power, power of our will and intent, that is the tool of the sorcerer, of the magic, the magi, of the warriors of light. Our intent, power of intent, is one of our greatest allies to manifest our true heart's desires, our true heart's delights, what we want to experience, what we want to feel, what we want to see, what we want to manifest into this infinite field of light, of vibration, of sound. We do that through our thoughts, through our awareness, through our perception, and that is why the last of the old dark cabal, Illuminati, whatever name we want to give to that collective energy that is still trying to hold on to that old false story of separation and suffering, is that they try to hold on by keeping control over the collective's perception of what we call reality. Although this is a simulation, an illusion, and a dream, it is real to our perceptions, to our senses, our five senses and our sixth sense, our seventh sense and beyond, we are truly experiencing this simulation with our awareness, with our consciousness. So we have to take back our power, take back, take back our free will, and take back our conscious power of co-creation and manifesting what our individual awareness wants, what the Holy Spirit desires, which is all beings living in peace, harmony, love, and bliss. Because, beloveds, we all know this now, that only love is real. And from this love, we manifest this collective experience of the dream spell journey. So 7, 33, 73, 37, just manifest as we're ending today's transmission. So thank you for joining us today. Blessed and beloved beings of angelic light. Have an amazing, blessed, and beautiful day. I do love you all. Namaste.